Um, I wanted to ask you, I mean, I, it's going all the way fast forward. You have such an illustrious career, but I'm just fast forwarding all the way for one second. The, um, the Hulu series that's out now, um, I'm just curious to know how much of that is actual factual. I, I mean, I've heard, you know, I've, I've heard RZA say, you know, what was, you know, some of the things that are and aren't, but from your perspective, I'm, I'm just curious to know, for one, are you happy with your portrayal in the series? And two, does it seem for the most part to be like on par with, with the facts? Mm. It's made for TV, man. Right. Okay. <laughs> TV. Okay. It, it, it's very entertaining. Like, if you didn't know the story, that's a good story they got going. Right. Okay. Am I satisfied with my portrayal? Man, I came in in episode six. <laughs> 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 so, you know, I was there day one, but I understand they was flashing back, going way back, trying to show it started balling, and I wasn't with RZA and Dirty them from the beginning, beginning. That was RZA, okay. Dirty, and RZA. So I understand them going that far back in the story and introducing everybody one by one, but you know, I came in in episode six, and then, you know, I was I was the nigga that was, was I guess, late giving RZA his money <laughs> when, I, um, when I showed my face, like, you know, uh, shout out to my man Joey Badass too. He, he, he did Joey his thing. Badass. Like, I like that. Too. But um, my first intro scene was, I think RZA coming to my crib, stepping to me about the money. I had some money for him or something like that. On, on, a, on a hustle, I was late. Like, yo, you know, I'm gonna have it for you. I ain't got it or something. You're like, wait, don't be having me out here, yeah. the nigga like with a the shirt. <laughs> nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't me. That's not me. That ain't my Hell no. it's, it's things in life that go down. Like, at that time, me being from Park Hill, I couldn't hustle a state with the niggas work in my hood. My hood right. wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, you know, and then the, the second part, it was like, you in my house pressing me, like, you know? Right. So it, it yeah. it's made TV, man. Yeah, well, like, is the, realistic. Like, <laughs> is, is the is the Stapleton versus Park Hill like? Where, is real. that that's that's a real thing? That, that was real. That was real. That was okay. real. It's, it's now came now, but I still feel there's a little tension. tension there. Right now, Back now was now. was Ray and Ghost blowing shots at each other like that? Was that real? Nah, that's not real. You see them? Mm. Yeah, no, RZA said that wasn't I real. Tell motherfuckers that that wasn't real. Somebody sent me an interview with, with Papa Wu talking about that they was blowing shots or something like that. I'm like, bro, I know uh, multiple dudes. Like, you know, I'm out here on the island and all of that. I know dudes like Raider Ruckus and all of that type of shit. Right. So I already know a lot of the behind the scenes information. You know what I mean? He's Shout like, out to my man Raider Ruckus. He'll let you know. Exactly. I talked to Raider Ruckus. That's my guy. Yeah, no, shout I've, out. I've heard. I've, I've he, heard. He say throwing that. those shots at, at each other. He's like, yeah, they didn't. You know, they didn't like each other. They felt like they was, you know. Yeah. No meth wasn't. Our kill niggas feel like yo Stapleton niggas is grimy niggas or whatever. You know that kind of energy. But they wasn't blowing shots at each other like that. And I tried to tell them off because that. Like oh, that. Lord Jamar, I'm telling you, they were. And I'm like, all right, man, whatever the fuck. Nah, man, Park Hill was the niggas that was trying to get fly, trying to get money. You know what I'm saying? Linking up with Brooklyn niggas. Right. Making moves out of town, doing that type of thing. Stapleton is thugged out. Right, Robin. Stapleton taking A. Can <laughs> <laughs> by accident. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like, okay. I, I like everything. All right. <laughs> like, not saying Stapleton wasn't getting money or getting fly. They was known for letting niggas have it. Mm. Straight okay. up. You know right. I mean? With the hands, all that shit. Right. That's been an ongoing thing for years. Like, Hatfields and McCoys type thing. Right. Okay. Nah, Meth wasn't asleep on the roof. Right. You know? 
what right. I'm saying? Yeah. They were just making shit up, huh? Yeah, but I mean, yeah, but, like that's what they do in this Hollywood world. Like, you gotta try to make a story that's engaging. I mean, we liked the series, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, we all watched it, we all were engaged by it, but you have to understand that it's not, you know, when you get to that type of shit, it's not necessarily history that you're looking at. Right. You know what I mean? Well, like, oh, like for instance, story. For instance, <laughs> for instance, we had we had um we had just ice on the show, God. Word? He, said, he never met Rizza. He said that never happened. What? There was a part in there where they had just ice specifically press uh Rizza Smacking him up to learn those about, lessons. To know yeah, your, lessons. You know, your lessons type of shit. Just I said that is not true. That never, it never happened. happened. He never even met Rizza back then. See, because okay. even in his song way, way back, going way, way back, he never brings up. Remember, he was naming everybody. You know, mm -hmm. he didn't. Yo, but the Mikes and Men, that documentary was fantastic. Well, I was going to say one thing they, that they did, uh, one impression of you that it did give, which I believe to be true, was like, you was a motherfucker that came in the booth and laid your verse down and had everybody else like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you know, for me, see, I don't know, man. Like, I separate I, the two. I, I don't care what you say. That happened at tri on Triumph. Yeah, I, <laughs> you <laughs> I have a lot of shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm being modest. That I'm was one of my favorites before Triumph. Like, Word. like I'm, I'm telling you, he was that guy that I felt like, yo, niggas are sleeping on deck. Like, like, there's always yeah. those ones that's apparent, and then there's the one that's not so apparent but should be apparent. And I felt like deck was that guy. But anyway, continue. Yeah, I'm in a crew full of superheroes, man. You know, right. to rap Avengers. So you know, I could be the, I could be, <laughs> I could be Thor. By the time I hit the scene, Hulk done smashed already. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, that's why you gotta I gotta hit the hammer first. <laughs> so I, that's why you hear me first on a lot of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like damn, to, to go behind meth and, mm. and, and, and ray and ghost back to back and mm. coming off, you know, you gotta have the most powerful shit. So let me go first. <laughs> and that's the greatest opening. Fuck, the number, that's the greatest opening of a of a, a song, yeah, fuck the bullshit. That's the, mm -hmm. the best. It's like I said before, other than clap your hands, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> these are breaks. It's the best. Man. Oh. So of Mike's and Men, what did you think about the documentary? Because I love the documentary. I watched the documentary because there's so much footage of you guys. Well, I know I, the guy I, that made that, actually. What you say? I said, I know the guy that... Um, that was a really, that was a really... I mean, they even showed you all listening to the cream beat. Like, yo, we're going to do... I mean, they, they had footage of that. What'd you think of that one? Nah, Mike and Men was dope. Yeah, was I love that shit. You know what I'm saying? That was us. That wasn't script. I didn't even want to watch the series after I saw the doc. But I'm saying, if you saw both, you could just compare the series documentary and, and see the differences. Yeah. And um, sure. so it, it was never at a point where dudes was... Excuse me, like shooting at each other and all that. But the story of us in the documentary makes a good story for the Hulu. It's like, you know how they say, like, the names and the faces. Yeah. Change, you know, in the story, you know, any likeness is what that's all it is. It's just a flip. Give y'all, you know, pieces of the truth and create a new story off. I'm gonna be honest. I was a little disturbed not seeing you, God, in the first season. From what I understand, he's gonna be in the second season. But yeah, you know, I was gonna be in the second season, right? But I, I, I don't know. I was just like, "Where's you, God?" Like, like I know he's around at this time. Where's he at? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. From what I understand, it might have been some whatever you know shit happens. Well, yeah, it's, you know, I can't tell you why. I can't right. tell you why, but I can tell you that he didn't sign. And sign on with it. right so so, so in the movie there's a fictional fire that was actually a flood in real life correct right now from what i understand 
in this flood, one of the things that were lost was your solo album. Right. That I heard was fire. Yeah, man. It's it's the difference in it's the difference in winning the chip and just making it to the finals. You know what I'm saying if I'd have had that album, I, I believe at that time we could have got pushed to get to that platinum like you know, like the rest of my brothers, but you know, even it wouldn't go. <laughs> you know, the the, the the makeshift album that I put together. Because when I lost that one, like all the tracks. I took at that time we was using floppy disks and like uh that tape and stuff like right. that. Um I took all of that to tech company. Uh I went to an IT place in DC. Try to get it recovered. Try to get it recovered, put it in the white room, everything. Um dust free shit. They, they tried every technique they thought of. Mm. Um almost ran up like close to you know 15, 16 grand. Wow. To not save it, not save yeah. it. So Ray is on the purple page. Like so much is going on, I gotta pretty much fend for myself. Put an album together with Rizzo over here, Jizzle's over there. Everybody's just signing their deals. You know, Rizzo, remember Rizzo, uh I mean, uh, Dirty. Right, yeah. Electra, uh -huh. signed already. A couple F people. Jam, everybody's going all over the place like gangbusters. Exactly. And you hot ass fucking album that could compete with all of these, and then it's lost. Like, like, Ugh. how did that make you feel at that moment? Like, 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 I know your stomach had to be like when when they when they called you and said, "Yo, it was a flood, bro," and yo, I gotta tell you something. Mm. Yo, your shit was yeah, in there. Yeah, like, yeah. like, stomach just sank, man. Yeah, you know, Where you were know. you when you got that call? You remember? I in, yeah, I was in Park Hill for sure. Hmm. And um, no, I was out of town. We were actually on the road. Rizzo got the call. Hmm. Rizzo told me. I was like, damn. You know, like. Whatever mood I was in just went out the window. Like, are you fucking serious? Sure. Like, like that's that's the first thing I'm up. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, are Yo, you like, fucking serious? What? But you know, floods is natural. I, it wasn't so much of the flood that was fucking me up. It was just like, damn, my shit got caught in the flood. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. Like, but you know, all due respect, it was it was more of yo, hope everything is okay. <laughs> right. House and, and things of that nature. But when we got to it and was able to see what it looked like, the sort of damage was like, damn, bro. You know, it's not just my album, but bad shit. Right. You no know, keyboards, other people's albums, perhaps. Right. But that shit, just looking at it, it like I can see it now as I'm telling you. Mm. And there was no way to recreate what you did. You know what I mean? Try to find those samples and put it back together, or or use the song um, templates, maybe the lyrics. You know what I mean? And put them to different beats. I don't know. I tried to put some of the lyrics to different beats. Right. But a lot of shit didn't fit. Everything was already on this turn, on this on this wheel spinning. Like we was gonna go with a Spider Man type. Of thing. Mm. It's like you know, mm. folks was Iron Man. You know, and so it's like, yo, we try to put and at the world you know that first line, you know, swinging through the tag neighborhood Spider Man. Yo, let's go with some ill swinging through the city on you know some rooftop shit. You know, uh, 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 overlooking the city. It's gonna make a whole type of album based on some crazy, you know, nighttime escapade shit. Beats went along with that. So trying to recreate them, I tried to do some of them, but it wasn't, it wasn't right. coming out like Rizzo. You know I remember at that time he was he was on the move, and, uh, just producing, getting everybody's everybody's bag. So it was right. 
I got dropped out of the chopper. To get Rizzo to try to go back and recreate what he already did at that time yeah. was almost impossible because he's all over the place with exactly. Exactly. So like I said, I'm 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 dropped out the chopper with, with you know <laughs> no canteen, no radio, nothing. I'm just in the jungle with the gun. I'm like, fuck. And then, you know, in, in, in that process, too, you know, that's that's why Inspector Deck hasn't had, like, the real commercial success as the next rapper, because that kind of experience in the beginning, he happened, that album lost, and it happened to do a whole lot of shit on the fly. It was like, I was angry. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo. That's you know what I'm saying? So a lot of them songs was like I said, me in the jungle with the gun. I'm just I'm just shooting off raps. I'm just I'm not conscious of making songs and thinking about radio and, and understanding the business of how to sell a record and things like that. I'm just I'm launching off on every song. Right. You know what I'm saying? And even with that, it still pulls off a gold album. But had I would have had I would have got that platinum off of that first album, which I know was possible, we'd be having a whole different conversation. Like it wouldn't be like yo, Deck is the underrated or niggas don't know about, or you know what I'm saying? Because I had a bunch of shit that I was ready to by RZA. You know, when I put my album on control substance side, I had three RZA beats and no Wu Tang features. Think Man. about that. Right. Every album before me entirely produced by Rizzo. Right. Had the whole clan. Mad features. Yeah. I wouldn't call you underrated though. I think I think that there's a healthy I mean of, of I mean when you think of the marquee, it's like, oh yeah, meth Bray are celebrated in that regard. But I I personally feel like when we're t when we're having a conversation of like the talent level in the woo, like you are more often regarded as more people's favorite than a lot of like everyone else. Like there's always it's always deck and such uh oh uh oh what? way more often oh. than than you may be aware. Like make no mistake, there's no there's there's no like you're not the sixth man at all. No. Yeah, no. I don't I don't feel like that necessarily, but you know, if you let people tell it, well, oh, you didn't sell a million. It's like, yeah, uh, you, you scored all these points, but you didn't win it. It's it's it uh and I think it's your personality too. I think it's your personality too. You're not you're like you're okay, you're you're not type that's uh you know what I mean? You let your words speak. Oh yeah, some other cats are marketing right. tools, they like you know, because Meth is like an actor. He wants, you know, Meth is an actor, whatever. You know, some people are the introverts, some are the ex. So I think it's just the way you move. You've yes. always been comfortable with that, but people know, yo, Dak, word. But you're you're good with yeah. lyrically. People know, you know what I'm yes. saying. And and, and then, you know, even in the regards to Meth, Meth, when Meth came out, Meth was grimy, bro. Meth had his hair crazy. <laughs> Sex symbol nigga didn't come to later. He was he was hitting them with the with the with the darts, you know what I'm saying? Like he prided himself on his lyrics as well. Like he, he take that shit serious. But for yeah. me, it's like, yeah, I feel like I can hang with anybody, man. Put me on the track with, with the top nigga. I'ma come with something. I feel like that. I feel like I'ma walk off feeling like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when you hear it, that's right. Yeah, I try to make sense with my shit. I try to keep it different. Like, there's two ways to go in rap, bro. Like, you you either you going commercial, or you making these songs for the radio, or you trying to appease the masses like that, or you making music for fans. You know what I'm saying? So, with me, I know with through Wu Tang, the millions of fans we got through Wu Tang, whoever I got individually on my own, I mean, if you fuck with me. Then you fuck with what I do, you know what I'm saying? So when I when I make my songs, no matter how weird, if it's slow, it ain't got no hook. Whatever the, whatever you feel is wrong with the shit, is right. Somebody, there's somebody that that's why they fuck with me because I do that. Shit. Mm. Another thing, it's you know a lot of it is all about personality. Sometimes 
Like, like you have a certain a kind of personality that I feel not as braggadocious as some of your counterparts in the woo. You yeah. see, that's what brings about a bank a balance. Like everybody can't be like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like some of us, the, some gotta be like, you know, a mad vex. That's what the projects made me. Like, like, ain't no way they've ever paid. like, like, whereas you know, someone like Meth and just the way he's jumping around us, it's just different. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that energy, people will look at that combined with their rhymes. You see, I'm saying where well, you're not doing all of that. You're just, you just yeah. coming with the darts. Like, you know what I mean? Guarantee. And sometimes people are more attracted to the, you know. Oh, yeah. That's, no, like, that's like putting the shine on the darts. You know what I mean? Like, you just like, listen, I'm giving you raw darts. Like, right. and, and for them, there's a little more, you know, with the, the animation and the, or the attitude, the cockiness, you know, even like Raekwon, his his cockiness, you know, he got that cocky attitude, like that. I think certain people like, you know what I mean? Like, and they just gravitate to that. Mad cocky, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I'm always M16 to your head, so it's like. For the most part, I do switch out of shit. I make songs for females. I do like, you know, I, I make shit that outside the box that you don't expect from me as well. You know what I'm 